Not a good night last night. Day three here in Nashville. Last night was not the best night. Not to share too much detail, but Mexican food didn't really agree with me. I think I got a little sick. Well, I know I got a little sick. I was up all night, so I'm going to work a little late today. But it's a big day. I'm doing that interview with Jude. So I'm excited to meet him. Do my lips really crack? I just, I'm a little sick. It was a, it was a rough night, but uh, we're ready to go. And uh, I'm gonna try to get some breakfast, some coffee. Last day in Nashville. Get back to work. Jude Smith. What's up, Gavin? Not too much, Dude, Thanks man. for having me. Yeah, nice to you. finally meet. Literally, I, I knew you online for a year, and here we are. It's crazy to say, because you're the, you're the guy who's blown up online in the last <laughs> like in the last year. Uh, man, I'm just having fun and just enjoying meeting new people. That's all. Yeah, so. man. I guess we'll start from, from where I found out about you, which was it's like Instagram about a year ago. Uh, you had about like 5,000 followers. I and guess. since then, it's like it's gone, it's gone crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's gone crazy. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I've just been kind of doing, um, been trying to think of fun ways to interact with people and, uh, fun ways to showcase my music rather than just, here's a video of me playing, you know? Um, so really putting some thought into what, what is a fun way that I could present this playing content, this music content, um, whether that's, uh, you know, duplicating myself seven times and I'm playing all the instruments or whether that's me playing a tambourine in the shower or something that maybe is a little goofy or, you know, whatever. Um, and collaborating with fun people and in my busy day, what would make me stop and look at this video for, th for 60 seconds? So not to, I don't want to be Mr. Content guy, but it is a very, you know, it's a very important thing nowadays. You know, that's what most businesses spend a lot of money on is making good content and good advertising. So I don't think musicians should think any less, you know, that's a business in the same way. Um, so I've just kind of been thinking about it that way. So a couple more things I want to talk about. This blew my mind when I saw it was the Jude Sings for Gas. <laughs> yeah. Like, so I saw this on Instagram yeah. and I knew it was going to be a hit as soon as you posted the first video. I was like, ah, oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> and as a musician, you always have these moments where like you're not, it's not jealousy. It's like, you're like, damn it. I should have, Oh, dude, I, I mean, should have thought of that. Man. Trust me. I'm there just about every day when I hear a song from one of my, one of my heroes. I'm like, ah, oh, I should have thought of yeah. that. Whatever. I mean, we all, yeah, we're all there. Any new stuff you got coming out? Plug it right here. Yeah, uh, I've actually got a perfect timing. You just asked. So I just finished up a single. Uh, if you're watching this in the future, it's probably out now. It'll be out November 8th, 2019. Uh, it's called You Need Another Lover. And uh, it's a total like, pop, like just it takes place on a dance floor kind of song, but yeah. very guitar based. And so it's a lot of fun. Um, so that'll be out November 8th. And then I'm also playing a show in New York city at Rockwood music hall on November 13th. So, uh, and then potentially Boston, I'm trying to get that lined up. So yeah. if you have any connections in Boston, let me know, but yeah, man. uh, yeah, so that's what I've got coming up. Dude. So. Thank you so much. I'm sure we could talk Dude, all day, but thanks uh, for having me, man. I appreciate it. Next time in Nashville, man, we'll meet up. Dude. And you got to have some Hattie B's promise me. Hattie B's, man. <laughs> I'll do it. It's Jude Smith good. from Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you guys for watching. See ya. That's it for me from Nashville. It was a crazy three days, got a lot done, met a lot of great people. And Jude Smith just came to the shop. We did a little interview and uh, this camera's at an awkward height. Let me do this. And Jude's a great guy. We did a short interview, jammed a little bit. Yeah, I got a ton of stuff done the last three days. So my whole, my job now is just get all that stuff edited. I'm heading back to the hotel. Wes is gonna drop me off and then I'm heading out to the town with Lincoln tonight. So we'll do some exploring there. That's it. I pretty much demoed every guitar in this shop. Dennis, yes. hey. it's a pleasure, man. Yeah, same here. A lot of fun. Let's bring in you guys. Do it. You need to drop anything off. Nashville's the coolest city I've ever been to in my life. Uh, I'm chilling with Lincoln right now. We're just walking around the city. We're at one place right now watching a band. Hey. 
That's uh, Broadway Street in Nashville. This is Lincoln. Hello, hello. Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Lincoln Smith with Eastwood Guitars. Yeah. We're showing Gavin around Nashville today. Yeah, man. Hell of a time. Saw some kick-ass music, and we're gonna Uber back because we're leaving at 7 a.m. tomorrow. So, uh, Whew. early trip. See, See you then. You. Peace. <laughs> what a day. I'm pale. What can you do? I'm not actually this pale. It's just this room. Crazy day. It started me being like sick as a dog in my hotel room. As the day went on, I met Lincoln, who I'm driving to Chicago with tomorrow. Beauty. We just like hit it off immediately. So we went to some bars tonight and uh, saw a bunch of live music. It was like, it's just a great. This is the best city I've ever been to in my life. And uh, the Jude Smith interview went great. Jude's like the nicest guy I've ever met. And it was weird because when we met each other, I've watched this guy on Instagram go from 5,000 followers to 60,000. We knew each other through Instagram and then to finally meet each other is just weird things. You feel like you know this person. And then my Uber driver bought me a six pack of Bud. So I have to be up at 7 a.m. tomorrow to travel to Chicago. Uh, I have a lot of stuff going on there, but tomorrow's kind of my day off. I don't have to worry about work, even though I probably will edit on the road. That's day three, Nashville, Tennessee. I'm going to kick back and relax because all I've done is work since I got here. See ya. Guys, we're in Kentucky right now, here with Lincoln. Oh, hello. Hello. We're in the work van. Check this out. This was filled with guitars a couple days ago. Now they're all, they're all, they've all been delivered. We're on our way to Chicago. And, uh, More guitars. Yeah, and I, I get to see the, uh, I get to see the States today in a van. That's fun. Uh, going to get some McDonald's. All right, Lincoln, where are we? We are in Henderson, Kentucky. We are right across the river. From Indiana, uh, we're gonna be crossing the river in about five minutes. Yeah, we'll be uh, well on our way. State number three. State number three. I'm seeing the whole thing, all of it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We just saw a bald eagle on the highway while I was drinking McDonald's, and I feel like I've gotten the whole in Kentucky. It's very American of you. Very American. I feel like I got the whole experience. At the bar last night, we everyone who walked in who had a cowboy hat on. You can tell immediately if they're authentic or not. Like if they're wearing it for real, you can kind of tell. Some people belong in a cowboy hat. Some people just substitute it for their snapback. <laughs> That's the Nashville thing, man. But <laughs> uh, so we still got a long drive left. We're actually hitting up Lincoln's house, and uh, uh -huh. then we're going up to Chicago. That was really nice. We went to uh, went to Lincoln's parents' house. We're actually here right now. And, nice uh, home cooked meal. Nice home cooked chili, which when you're eating fast food and stuff for <laughs> days on end, it's uh, that hits different. That's so nice. It's a good change. Yeah, and you have you have some nice folks, man. What's uh, what's that building called? Tallman. Yeah. Willis Tower. Willis Tower. Yeah. No. Nope. Sears Tower. Sears Tower. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Chicago. All right, we made it here to making music in Chicago. It's like an eight-hour drive, kind of crazy. I still don't have a hotel, so I gotta get that sorted out. A lot of work left to do. We gotta unload the van. Yo, this hotel has uh, outlets. I swear to God, that the place I was in in Nashville had no power outlets. Like the only power outlet was over there. So you couldn't even plug your phone in at your bed, which is annoying. Okay, here's my plan. This hotel room is awesome. I went from like the worst hotel room in Nashville. Dirty, moldy, spiders. I was sick. The whole thing. Lincoln recommended this Japanese steakhouse down the road, so I'm gonna go there. And I'm probably not gonna film much more because, you know, I gotta enjoy the night. So, long drive, but a really good day. And uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow filming. And we're going to Chicago Music Exchange on Monday. I'm getting uh, access to film there, which is like, it's literally the craziest music shop in the world. I don't know. It's really, really cool. Hey, Lincoln. 